So, uh, Kim Schaffer, our phone ranger here for the day, answering your calls. You noted on your Facebook page that all of a sudden you got like all these new people saying, "When you want to be my friend." Do I you didn't. do you allow non uh, friend? I mean, like people you don't know in real life to be friends? Do you allow? Well, that? I did until last night, <laughs> but I was sitting having a beer, and um, in like 15, 20 minutes, I had five, six, seven, eight. Yikes! Every time I looked at my Facebook, I had another request from somebody who clearly wasn't a real person. Yeah. And uh, it's because they had no other friends <laughs> or one other friend. So you that was a red flag oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, I knew These they These are obviously people. new accounts. So and and not... they had no mutual friends. I yeah. mean, not only did they not have any friends, they definitely didn't have any mutual friends. Yeah. So, so uh, what did you do? I went to the settings because a friend told me that I should go to the settings and change to friends of friends only yes. instead of everyone, which I don't like to, you know, block out people because maybe somebody that's not a friend of a friend I've met and I might want to become friends with. But I, as for last night, I had to do it at least temporarily just to not be bombarded. So there were spammers. Yes. I never understand what they hope to gain uh, by following you. Yeah, I don't know what they can do because I'm clearly not going to say yes to them. Right. So but even if you did, what would they gain? I don't know. I don't yeah. know if they would try to hijack my account. And, you know, I know a lot of people that I know have also been getting people doubling their accounts. They're just taking their photos, taking their information and making that's, a, a that's fake account. the new Facebook kidnapping. Yeah, yeah I've saw, seen some stories about that. They'll do it with kids too, which is yeah. not so nice. Well, kids shouldn't be on Facebook. Right. <laughs> Actually, the Facebook rules say if you're 13. under 13, yeah. yeah. So I, I think you're uh, absolutely right. Now, what I do on Facebook, and I would encourage everybody to do this, if you don't, and I told my kids this for years, if you don't know the person in RL, real life, if you've not seen them if they're not your old high school buddy or your college roommate if they're not friends and family members i wouldn't recommend friending them right um you want i think you want i think facebook works best when you make friends of the people you know but at least do what you did which is go into the privacy settings and tools in facebook so you'll click in the right hand side of the facebook on the web there's a little down arrow and you can uh uh, go, select settings or you can actually just click the settings and uh, uh, the little padlock and look at the privacy shortcuts but what you want is to decide who can see you and you have a number of choices you can have it be the public which is because I'm a public person that's how I do my Facebook but most people should say only friends can see me right that keeps your privacy going but at least you have the choice there um, you can limit the audience for posts you've shared for instance, you can go back in time. If you decided now, eh, maybe it was a little too open, you can actually go back and change past posts to limit them to friends only. But here's the section you were talking about. Who can contact me? And who, the question is, who can send you friend requests? You said it, it could be everyone. And right? my, mine was set to everyone as of last I, night. It probably is the default. But yeah, I would strongly either. suggest friends of friends. That means if somebody's not already a friend of somebody you know, of an existing friend, they can't ask you to be their friend. That solves most situations, you know? Um, if you really, and my no mom one. has it set up this way, <laughs> no one can be her friend because she doesn't want friends. She just wants to use Facebook to look at the grandkids. Are you her friend? You know, I don't think so. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Now you made me want to cry. So set this to friends of friends, okay? Because that's really going to be important. You can go through some of the other settings, like whose messages do I want in my inbox, basic or strict? I'd say strict, right? Uh, who can look you up via your email address? Probably should make that friends of friends, not public. Unless, you you know, you're less you're hoping that high school boyfriend will look you up and you don't know where he else, is. It <laughs> <laughs> but it's important, you know, I'm not going to com comment on what your choices should be, uh, but it's important you know that you can go in there and change those settings. And it makes a big difference. I'll show you one more tip that uh, my friend Robert uh, Scoble showed me. I'm going to go back to my home. If somebody is publishing too much, you're seeing too much of them in your timeline, of course, you can always unfollow them. That's probably not what you want to do. Uh, you can hide the post, and that'll help send a signal to Facebook that you want to see fewer posts like this. But you can also change your relationship with them. If you look at your friends, there's close friends, 
and there's acquaintances. And if you're seeing too much from people that are currently close friends, you can actually change their setting from friends to acquaintances. And by doing so, you reduce the number of posts you get from that person. So you can kind of control, if somebody's posting an awful lot about stuff you don't really want to see, instead of unfriending them, which might seem unfriendly, you can just say, that person's an acquaintance. You can even add them to another list, but you can always unfriend them if, you, if they really are annoying. So there are ways to make Facebook, frankly, more usable, more friendly. There's one more thing I'll mention, and Facebook probably wouldn't want me to mention this. There's a, if you use Chrome, there's an extension called the Facebook Flat extension. That This is, works on the web only, but it will change Facebook from its normal kind of busy, cluttered appearance to something flat, which is frankly a lot easier to use, is ad-free, uh, and really focuses on the posts. You can search for Facebook flat in your Chrome extensions, and I find that to be kind of a nice way to kind of streamline my Facebook uh, web pages. But I think the first thing to do is... You went friends of friends, didn't you? I, I did. Yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of comments that I got were, it, it was a common problem yesterday. From those in, spammers? In particular, yeah. It, it seems like a lot of people I know Interesting. got just bombarded. So I don't know what the significance of yesterday was, but... Oh, you know, probably uh, these things are all done by robots, I'm sorry to say. And so probably somebody just set up a new robot and... Started doing a lot of this. It's spam. It's a form of spam. Probably once you friended them, they'd start feeding spam into your news feed. Oh, but I never would. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty particular. Well, they count on people not being so particular. Yeah. So good for you that you're smart enough to do that. And I, I have no problem with having friends of friends. Um, that's how I do it. But, of course, I'm also a, a public, so I allow anybody to follow me, which means uh, people can follow my, my Facebook posts but see, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm not, if I don't want people to see it, I can make a post only friends or, you know, make it more private. And uh, but most guess of the time it's public. I requests that for that reason as well, just because of the whole media connection. Yeah, if you're you a know, public media, figure. I'm not a public figure, but media. What do you mean? You're on the radio. <laughs> I hear you every week on the radio. <laughs> just with you. I think you are a public figure. Bad news, Kim. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh-oh. Kim. Kim Schaffer answering the phones and unfriending as we go. 8888-ASK-LEO, uh, the, uh, the phone number. It's a good idea with Facebook, especially because they change the rules a lot to kind of go in there every once in a while. Look at those security and privacy settings. They've made that much easier. If you click on that padlock, the most important settings are there. And you can go in there and, uh, and pay attention because, uh, you know, frankly, Facebook should be a place that's a safe space for you to post, to talk to friends to talk to family members, and you want to keep it that way. And so choosing the right people to, to befriend on Facebook helps a lot. Uh, website is techguylabs.com. We'll put that as our tip of the week. Uh, a couple of things you can do to make Facebook more useful, more better, more better. And I'll link to a, a special I did about an hour with Robert Scoble, who was kind of the social media guru for a lot of us. And he talked about how he controls Facebook to make it more useful. We'll put a link to that video uh, up on the website as well. Techguylabs.com. All right, we're going to go back to the phones in just a bit. Dick DiBartolo, our Gizwiz, coming up in about half an hour. You stay right here. Another half hour to go.